Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Todd Coons and I'm back in the studio. It's that time of year, weather's not all that great outside so we spend a lot more time in the studio. But today I'm shooting stock photography. I've not done that for a while, which is a bad thing because the key to stock photography is consistently producing images, consistently uploading them, because I can guarantee you sales go down when you are not consistently uploading photographs. Now the point of the video today is not only to produce stock photography, but to produce stock photography using stuff that is in my house. I don't wanna go out and spend any money to get props, to get subject matter, to do anything like that. I'm just grabbing stuff that is in my house. Now I don't know about you guys, but my house is full of a lot of stuff, just generic stuff, whether it's tools or kitchen items, or I've just grabbed a whole bunch of things that I'm gonna to try to produce I, you know, a dozen shots maybe, let's hope. Let's see what we can do. So I've got different backgrounds and different items that I'm gonna try to produce. Images that are generic enough, but yet have a great deal of sales potential. I've talked before about the amount of time I spend taking stock photography versus the amount of income that I make from those images. And I've made the argument before that it's really not very financially beneficial. It's not, the hourly rate that you make is not all that great. However, for me, I love taking pictures all the time. Anywhere I go, I've got a camera, so I'm taking photographs, and I honestly think I should be making some money at that, and stock photography is the way in which to do that. I was in Charleston just recently. I did some stock photographs of the famous bridge down there, and, you know, I enjoyed taking the photographs, and they've been selling, so, you know, I'm not making a ton of money, but I'm making a little, so stock photography is still something very viable to me. It's something that I continue to do. And why I'm spending half a day or a day in the studio creating stock images is because to be honest with you, I just haven't been taking a lot of everyday stuff. I take my camera with me all the time, but I just, you know, it's not as pretty outside right now. The trees have lost their leaves. It's been raining a lot. And I just haven't been producing a lot of those everyday type photographs. And when it comes to stock photography, you've got to be constantly uploading and be consistent with it or sales are gonna plummet. So I need to create some stock images just to keep the algorithms going and stay consistent. So that's one of the biggest reasons I'm in the studio today doing it. And so now I've gotta break out my big studio lights because we might as well do it right. So let's get at it. setup guys I got a big softbox uh, just kind of acting as a big you know big light source lighting up the entire scene and then I've got a smaller light over here and a small parabolic reflector with a grid on the front a honeycomb grid I usually turn the modeling light off because it gets awfully hot inside there with that grid um, and it's just gonna give some directional light on my subject and I probably will put a fill card or two, maybe a mirror when I'm all said and done. So I'll probably start putting some things around the edges, leave the middle open, thinking that maybe somebody who purchases this image will want to put some text in the middle. And we'll see how it goes. And I'll probably just shoot the different backgrounds that I have these boards all by themselves. So there's just a background with boards. That might be a stock shot that could, could uh, potentially have some sales. So... Just gonna run through a whole bunch of things. I put everything down there and I'm sure I will scour the house for more items. Like I said, I'm trying to, you know, 10 or 12 images, but I think we've got the basic lighting set up. Of course, the camera overhead doing its thing. I think I'm at F22. I probably have about 300 watt seconds coming out of each one of those lights, just to give you some technical data. F22, ISO 160. 
yeah there we go set up guys a bunch of tools one thing I got to do when I set these things out is make sure I don't have logos on there and I've got a little one right there I just noticed that so I'm either gonna have to flip that hammer although I like the way it's sitting um, I may have to retouch that out a little bit I added one little mirror I'm gonna hold this fill card uh, up here when I shoot this I'm just gonna hold the fill card like that And there's the first shot. So I think that's a very simple basic setup that I can now run through a whole bunch of scenarios and you know different schemes and themes and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna blaze through a bunch of them and hopefully have some incredible shots and have a successful shoot. <music> So there you go guys, simple little shoot today, filled my time, spent some time in my favorite place, which is the studio, as you know, and I think I came away with some good shots, I'll run them through right here, you guys can let me know what you think of that, but like I said at the beginning, a lot of what I was doing today was just trying to produce stock photographs that not only will sell on their own, but will continue to give me images to upload so that I can be consistent and keep that algorithm going with the stock agencies because sales follow your consistency with uploading. So hopefully these will sell, but I know that these will produce other sales just because I'm being consistent with my stock production. So successful shoot all around before I even send these in. So I hope that if nothing else, I inspired you guys to do a little bit of photography on your own to create some projects, even with just things around your own house, whether it's stock photography or just pretty pictures because we love photography. That's what we do, right? Okay, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'm gonna sign off for now and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that. Leave me a thumbs up. And even bigger than that, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. You guys have a great day. And if I don't see you before Thanksgiving, have a great Thanksgiving. And I will, like I said, see you next time.